Welcome. Uh, my name is Michael Burby. I'm a senior manufacturing engineer at GE Transportation located here in Erie, Pennsylvania. We're standing on our new uh, TTX SST uh, twin color ECOAT system uh, purchased in 2015 and installed earlier this year in 2017. Uh, this, this project uh, involved a large capital expenditure for GE Transportation. Uh, it was a multi-year project. It involved getting management's buy-in. Uh, once we succeeded in doing that, it was a long process of going through the ROI investment strategy and then meeting with our key, key stakeholders and suppliers and working through uh, with Atatech to begin with as they already had pretreatment chemistry with us. Uh, moving through the selection of our ECOAT uh, paint vendor, which ended up being Valspar after thorough testing. And we moved back into the pretreatment uh, qualification testing and writing further specifications that helped us determine Atatech was in fact the best fit for us. I think some of the key features of our new uh, ECOAT system is uh, located in the pretreatment around our neutral descaler in tank four. Uh, which is an acid pickle replacement, but environmentally friendly and also worker friendly. This allowed us to remove a lot of grinding operations where we used to manually use seven inch grinders to remove uh, oxides from our, our welded parts. Uh, by doing that, it's allowed us to take grinders out of gentlemen's hands and get away from the dangerous and difficult uh, and dirty work that we had to do prior to installation of this line. Uh, capacity wise, this line has allowed us to move into uh, basically operating uh, less than one shift to do what used to take us three shifts at a much improved uh, cost-benefit ratio. Uh, trying to show what uh, Building 7 here and our light sheet metal actually does and is responsible for in a locomotive. This is a model of a Tier 3 Evolution Series locomotive. It's a 4,400 horsepower, 210 ton uh, piece of equipment. Everything that's gray in color, which is called our cab structures, above the platform is what Building 7 is responsible for. And the ECOAT line that we install is not primarily for each of these individual cabs, but for all the small parts that go into it. In the picture above it, you can see an actual train being pulled by an Evolution Series locomotive. 